in KSI standing there before as well, like two rounds ago. Wait, Estafala, what's going on? Yeah, what is going on? Assalamu alaikum, what's going on everybody? Videos are making the rounds on the internet of a famous YouTuber, KSI, saying the words Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah is something that Muslims say a lot, I hope. And what this means in Arabic is asking God for forgiveness. From sins, for example. Like a form of repentance. But, as with everything in Arabic, we use it in so many other contexts. For example, somebody accuses you of something that you didn't do. Hey Mo, did you eat my sandwich? Your sandwich? Astaghfirullah, bro, that wasn't me. Plus it had bacon. We've recently seen many examples of famous, be it celebrities or athletes or even some politicians, saying Arabic or Muslim phrases. And this has people divided along the spectrum. Some people on one end of the spectrum, they're like, we don't care and this means nothing and don't talk to me about it. Other people on the other end of the spectrum are overjoyed and ecstatic about it. Honestly, in my opinion, although I don't think we should derive our value from it, but I think the fact that some of these words are becoming more mainstream, I think that's pretty cool. Here is why. It shows that Muslims are present in so many social circles. And it shows that Muslims are comfortable saying these Arabic or Muslim phrases around their friends, which gives people, like their non-Muslim friends, exposure to a side of Islam that the mainstream media doesn't show. You know the side I'm talking about, right? <laughs> the side where the majority of Muslims are actually normal people trying to live their lives, and we're not all just part of sleeper cells hiding and waiting for the right moment to strike to take down the West. Oh no, I said too much. Change of plans, we've been exposed. It shows that the Muslims in these social circles, in these social groups are comfortable enough, so much so that their non-Muslim friends, all these people are starting to pick up on words that we use quite often. Words like Allah, Astaghfirullah, Insha'Allah, Alhamdulillah. These words are being said online and on TV. Be it from people like KSI, Wait, Anthony Joshua after a title fight. I wanna thank God. I want to say Bismillah. Tyson Fury, when one of his corner men recited Surah Al Fatiha. Or even Joe Biden saying it sarcastically. Get to when? See it. But let me just tell you. All the way to Muslim athletes like Habib Nurmagomedov, who pretty much said all the words. So I want to say Alhamdulillah, God gave me everything. Alhamdulillah. And personally, even my non-Muslim friends and co-workers, they start to use these terms too. When we plan something, they'll say, all right, see you there, inshallah. And no, they don't say it in the Joe Biden sarcastic way. I, I, don't, I don't think so. Wait. When they see me in the morning at work, they'll say, hey Mo, salam alaikum. When I go to pray, some of them will say, is it Allah Akbar time? The fact that they use these words means, number one, that they like you and respect you. And number two, your positive presence is being felt in the social circles you are in. So when I see non-Muslims using Arabic and Muslim phrases, I think it's pretty cool. Because it shows that they are willing to learn these new words, mainly because they have interacted with Muslims. Muslims who are not ashamed. Muslims who are proud to teach them. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and share this video, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'm that Muslim guy. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.